Okay, so it's cutting pretty well. Those 50 amps, about 80 psi. Cutting a few test pieces um, that I can weld together and practice my corner vertical welding. So, by the way, if you're running direct, direct current electrode positive, don't forget to switch your ground back to the ground, otherwise your plasma cutter doesn't work. Just uh, FYI there, because I'm scratching and scratching, wondering, checking my ground, wondering what the heck I did, and then I was like, oh yeah, okay, that's what it was. Uh, just a couple quick mods to this little Harbor Freight cart. Um, one is obviously the handle here. This is just like 3-8 stock. And um, I started to bend it, but I'm a pretty terrible bender. Um, I can't keep my radiuses right and end up in the right spot, so I ended up just cutting it. This is 11 inches across here. And then I just welded 6 inches right here and there. And then I put my 45 um, degree um, magnet behind, laid this flat on the ground, then put my 45 degree magnet behind here and welded this one on. And then um, tack welded it here, here, and here, and did that with a MIG welder, and I'm glad I did, because even if it, when it's almost lowest setting, I was burning through this metal right here. So, I had to concentrate most of my heat on this, and I still burned through a couple times on the bottom there. So I did that on both sides. I'm not going to paint it. It's just got to be functional. I don't care really how it looks. Um, but it's so nice wheeling it around, now I can just grab that, and it's a good height, and it, I don't have to grab underneath the thing, and or try to push my cart around. Um, the other thing was it comes with these and these bolt on. These are real sharp on the edges so I kind of got the little wheat grinder wheel and ground them down just gently so they're smooth now and they don't have any sharp edges. Um, and then I made one, another one. I used the existing bolt hole here and then just drilled another one and then just painted it black and then just bent this out of whatever that is, inch by, I know it's pretty thick and stuff, whatever it is. So that's what I hang the plasma cutter cable on, um, the electrode here, the welding electrode and the ground on the other side or vice versa depending on what side I have it on. So that's worked out well. And last thing um, on this Prime Weld CT520D, there we go, um, you can hear this right here. I've got to replace this with a barbed, with the fitting that's more barbed because I've tightened the heck out of this. I have a broken one, I put another one on and it still leaks, you can hear it right there. So I'm gonna to have to pull that off and replace it with one that doesn't leak. So that's what that noise is in the back here.